So I'm passionate about technology because I believe technology is an extension of human creativity. Today, our host, Jason Silva, is giving a free talk at a local university. Here's the amazing thing about technology. But pay attention, because while these people think they're here to see Jason give a presentation on technology, technology evolves exponentially. They're actually the subjects of a social experiment, and you're about to see how far these people will go just to fit in with a crowd. The smartphone that you guys have in your pocket is actually a million times cheaper, a million times smaller, and a thousand times more powerful than what used to be $60 million in half a building 40 years ago. So far, the crowd seems to be following the speech. So I want to switch gears for a minute and talk about something I think is really mind-blowing as well. Have you guys ever stopped to think just about how a thought is an idea caught in the fangs of consciousness? Huh? Which is why you can put cats in hats, but not hats in cats. <laughs> well, the soup is on, so to speak. If it now sounds like Jason is speaking nonsense... Geometry, wisdom, tangerines, it all becomes possible. He is. So eat your soup. So how would you react? Dreamers among us dream about tangerines. Think this crowd will bail? E equals elephant, not the lizard. Or will conformity keep them in their seats? The nervous system, marinating like the afterbirth. Let's just say the only thing more surprising than Jason's speech... Does that make sense? ...is seeing what these people do next. It's time to celebrate. Stick around. In essence, this is what true thought is all about. It's the disconnect that doesn't come from the knowledge that your mind predates time. That knowledge of time predates tangerines. We're conducting an experiment on conformity to see how this audience will react to someone who's clearly speaking complete gibberish. Which is why you can put cats in hats, but not hats on cats, so to speak. Do you know what I mean? Are you following any of this? <laughs> that is the elephant in the room. Not the lizard, the elephant. It's reefer madness, geometry, wisdom, tangerines, it all becomes possible. Okay, this is getting weird. How would you react if you were in the audience? Silence? Would you get up and leave? And that is all the time I have for today. Thank you for listening, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot, guys. Polite applause is one thing, but these people are giving Jason a standing ovation for spewing complete nonsense. So what's going on here? OK. Uh, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. This, my friends, was an experiment in conformity to see if you'd give me a standing ovation even though the second half of my talk was complete gibberish. And so you guys actually proved the point. Have you ever stood for an applause simply because everyone else is? You know, he's talking about cats and hats and stuff like that, and I was just like, did what he really say Merit a standing ovation? And he's right. But if Jason's speech didn't deserve such an ovation, what made this audience stand up to applaud? It all started with two very enthusiastic audience members that we planted in the crowd for some added peer pressure. So I see seeing people standing up, so oh, okay, I'll stand up. <laughs> there was a couple of people that stood and were like really, really enthused about standing. Then everybody else started standing, so. I figured it was definitely my fault. A standing ovation doesn't happen because everyone in the audience had the idea to stand up and applaud at the same time. It happens because a few people decided to stand and everyone else just went along with it so as not to be judged as uncaring or different. I felt like everybody was going to be like, you didn't get it, it was so great. One incredibly fascinating aspect of mob mentality is how it only takes a few leaders to get the whole mob to follow. Well, almost the whole mob. Yeah, they stood up. I was just like, oh, well, have fun doing you. I'm going to do me. I've always uh, walked to the beat of my own drum. That's how you survive. As you just witnessed, your brain tends to go along to get along with a crowd. 